customers are only going to benefit from the globalization of markets. And the reason is that you bring more competitors onto the playing field, it only gets better for the customer because those competitors compete by driving better value into the market to try to attract you and me. So all of us should expect an acceleration in the value that we obtain from the products and services we buy today. Take as an example automobile marketplace. We've only benefited as consumers from the entree of the Europeans and the Japanese and the Koreans into the US car market. They have driven higher standards of quality, they have driven innovation in the market, they've created more competitiveness, and today, in real dollar terms, we get twice the car for half the money that you got in the 1960s. That's a fantastic deal, and that will continue, and it will be driven partly by this globalization of markets. While I say that, I must say that I'm a little wistful about what's being lost, because the homogenization of demand worldwide, some things are being lost. You know, I used to enjoy looking at those crazy, ugly, weird-looking Eastern European cars and those odd things they drove in parts of Asia. I might not have bought one, but I was kind of happy that they existed in the world. With the homogenization of demand, cars start looking the very same all over the world, whether they're being manufactured in the Ukraine or they're being manufactured in Asia or they're being manufactured in Brazil. They all kind of look alike, and I guess there's something lost in that. Or when I go to some foreign capital and I go down Main Street and there's a Starbucks. I mean, my heart sinks a little bit, even though I like Starbucks, because I, I think I'd rather see a local, inefficient cafe where I would have this idiosyncratic experience. But likely, a lot of that stuff over time is, is going to equilibrate and become very common and very standard all around the world.